This is the new Android 21 in lab code, released as a limited exclusive in 2022. So she is apparently the wife of Dr. Gero, and to top it all, she is the mother of Android 16. What a surprising reveal. Right, let's check out how she fares. She has impressive five faces, great sculpts, many expressions, tidy paint jobs, no miss paints, no shadings, matte finished. She has six pairs of hands and the crossed arms, plenty, they're unique, well sculpted and perfectly painted. Crossed arms is nicely sculpted and painted, the effect is elastic with nice color gradation. Faces have great likeness with clean and sharp lines. Face lines are done impeccably tidy. She has more than enough expressions to create any poses you want. I wonder if we'll ever get this many options with any major characters. Her face style really resembles the original Android 18. Very cute looking. Earrings are flawlessly painted. Hair sculpt is great. It's solid and elastic, like lunch. Matte finish is smooth. There are some visible nut marks and seam lines. The back here is articulated. The glasses are perfectly fitted. Super craftsmanship. Every face can wear the glasses, giving her a total of 10 expressions. Every face has notches to slide the glasses in. It's stunningly precise, so use caution when sliding the glasses in. The glasses are impeccably made. They're elastic, slightly bendable, unlike a scouter, but might bend permanently if recklessly handled. Appearances are good. Color theme is green accurate. Proportions are perfect. Matte finish is smooth and even from top to bottom. Scale is also great. She's taller than 18, just like in the game. The high heels are nicely sculpted and flawlessly painted, but it can be a challenge to stand her without a stand base. She is quite unstable with this kind of footing. Using a stand base is highly recommended. The coat is divided into three parts and joined by wrist joints. The dress is blue plastic painted with red squares. Sadly, the red paint will bleed to the white coat. The holding fingers are perfectly sculpted to the glasses shape. The logo is tidy and perfectly aligned. The effect has a small hole to insert the pointing figures in. It's not sharp, well sculpted even though small. The articulated lab coat is great because it accommodates her dynamic poses. However, it can be odd watching the gaps on certain extreme poses. Color separation is handled very well, no mispaints whatsoever. Truly deserving to be an exclusive. No shading, sadly. The new 21 is a lot lighter than the old 21 due to her slim outfit design. Both 21 has similar scale and proportions. Although looks similarly constructed, the new 21 has some improvements over the 2019 version. Let's see. Face shapes are bigger than her old version. Pain style is also different. The bangs are also differently sculpted. Faces are not swappable, obviously. The new Android arm design has some improvements compared to typical Dragon Ball Girls figwarts. Identical to new Android 18 Super. 
neck pose is similar to other Dragon Ball curls. You can swap the heads with the joint attached. 21 has bigger body than the typical Dragon Ball girls figuarts. So, 21's head will look too big on Lunch's body, but proportions are not awfully bad. Perhaps due to the fact that she has similar head size as typical Dragon Ball girls figuarts, except the 18 Super. I think 21 is using normal Dragon Ball Z scale. Nevertheless, I gotta say, 21 still looks cute on Lunch and Bulma's bodies. 21 has great articulations. Body design is identical to Nobara from Jujutsu Kaisen. Head and neck works great. The hair doesn't limit range. The back hair is using wrist joint, limited range due to the sculpt. The joints have similar rubbery feel like newer figwarts, such as Gohan Superhero and Imperfect Cell. No overly tight joints, nothing is sticky or squeaky, just perfect. Butterfly joints are present. Additional forearm articulations. Torso range is quite limited. The skirt is soft and elastic, doesn't hinder thigh range. Waist is on ball joint, great range. Thigh range is acceptable. Sideways only 45 degree. Backward is limited. Knees are single jointed but have great range. Tails are elastic. Both are wrist jointed, feel durable, not easily break. The back skirt is also articulated. Android 21 is a great figure deserving the 70 bucks price tag. She's a beautiful figure indeed. She has great build quality and comes with lots of alternate parts, making her a highly fun figure to pose and play with. Sometimes, I wonder why Bandai gives many hands for such a minor character, but skims on Goku, Gohan, or Vegeta. She's highly recommended for Chase if you like the character or play the game. But I wonder, how many people would be willing to spend that amount for such a minor character? Alright friends, I hope you like my videos. 
please comment down below if I miss anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!